It's taken a couple of weeks, but information has slowly been leaking out about what went on election night over at Hillary's hotel room, and we now have a pretty clear picture. We've heard the stories of Hillary's anger, profanity-filled rants, and throwing things at people who tick her off. She once gave Bill a black eye, throwing a vase at him. Apparently, not much has changed. You have to remember that Hillary and her campaign thought that this election was in the bag. The polls had her leading all year, sometimes by as much as 16 points. Several reports have surfaced saying Team Hillary started celebrating early, even popping champagne corks before votes were being counted. Add a few drinks to Hillary's already known violent behavior and you have a recipe for the temper tantrum of the ages. As the night went on, the fact that she was going down in defeat to Donald Trump became more and more clear, and as it started sinking in, her drunken rage started coming out. According to a Secret Service agent, Hillary started off by hurling obscenities at everyone, then began pounding furniture and throwing things at her staff. Her anger was mixed with inconsolable bouts of crying. Another source and longtime friend of Hillary said she was crying and wailing so hard that she couldn't understand what she was saying over the phone. It took a while, but she started to understand that Hillary was blaming FBI Director James Comey for all the investigation talk and also blaming Obama for not making it all go away. A CNN reporter leaked that at around midnight, Hillary physically threatened her campaign chairman John Podesta and her campaign manager Robbie Mook. She started beating on Bill and had to be physically restrained. You haven't heard about it because the brass at CNN put the kibosh on all stories coming out about Hillary's violent behavior that night. It got so bad that her doctor started adding sedatives to her drinks. There was no way Hillary's handlers were ever going to let her go to her own party at the hall she rented and speak to her supporters. At some point, somebody sent John Podesta out to tell everyone to go home. Folks, knowing her propensity for violent psychotic behavior, it scares me to death to think that this train wreck of a human being came as close as she did to becoming America's Commander-in-Chief. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to subscribe and donate at the Ray Warner Show dot com.